hello friend welcome back in this video i want to fix one of the bugs like you also may get this type of one of the error as an attempt to read property id on null so when you get this type of one of the error like if you when your session is expired automatically after the few time when you want to access your project then you may get this type of one of the error so in that case you have to do you have to uh, again logging okay that means already you are expert from to the session for the reasons it's now display this type of, one of the error when you again logging then you may fix this error rather than you can also fix this by creating one of the group modular i show you uh, as i told you that will be um, like here that is actually our total web.php all that our route here i have created all that our group route for the admin controller supplier controller customer controller unit right so that is all that our route i have already created now i want to do i want to take everything every our group controller in one group middleware then we can actually solve it very easily like in that case you have to do simply take one of the route and here i name one of the group middleware so that will be as a middleware and by default when you install laravel laravel created one of the default middleware as auth right so here i want to do i want to declare this auth middleware now i want to do i want to make it i make it one of the group so that will be a group and group area i want to create another function so that will be a function and i simply created this function okay so when you use it as a auth middleware auth middleware will be actually a when that will be not accessible automatically that will be returned direct to the logging page so it will be checked that user is logging or not if this user is not logging you are not able to access that url automatically that will be returned direct to the logging page okay so that is the simple things we can actually manage it by our default middleware as auth middleware now here i simply finish it so that is our route middleware auth and group and that is our function okay so now you can see our url url as a daily invoice report right now the daily invoice report i have already created one of the middleware for the invoice you can see that is invoice controller and that is our url right so now i want to, to make it as a group by like here i have already created that middleware group by function and that is ended in here now i want to do i want to end it i simply cut it all that our group route i want, I want to do i want to take it in our group middleware right now that is actually ended in here right so now better i want to do to end it in particular that position i simply put some of the node as a group or and group middleware Okay, I simply add put some of the note for you. Now our problem will be solved. If you click as a save all, here I have created it or by default auth will be written direct to the logging page. Right now I am not logging. The session is already expired for the reasons right now I am not logging. Or now if you want to access it, like here I refresh it again. Now you can see it's now successfully returned direct to the logging page. So as I told you, after that logging, when you actually pass limited amount of the time, automatically the section will be expired, but that will be display your page. But when you refresh it, you will get this type of one of the null error. Okay, so you can actually fix it. You can fix it by creating one of the group middleware and simply call this group middleware. Okay, so now all that our route, that means all that our group controller uh, now in our Briller group area so which is totally fine okay so now by this we can actually solve it and now if you want to locking with the kazi and now i'm to locking with the kazi again yeah you can see right now i'm successfully logging and it's now returned direct to the daily invoice report so i was in particular that page okay i was in particular that page session actually save all that my information but after that limited time like after that one hour when our session is automatically expired it will be displayed this page but when you access it again then you can actually get this type of, one of the error which is totally fine how to solve it this issue i hope friend it's now very much clear to you okay so now that is our daily everything is worked perfectly so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video